Welcome to Digital Toolbox. Today we are going to place a bitmap and then create a topographic map from it. To get started, we're going to go to the top view and then right click on the word top, scroll down to background bitmap and then click on place. It's going to ask you to find a file or an image and it lets you have several file formats and I have an image ready on my desktop. I'm going to open it. It's going to ask for the first corner. For this tutorial, I'm going to place it somewhere randomly, and then it's going to ask you for a second, the second corner in length. You can either type in the length if you know the, the length of the actual map or the image, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to do it randomly. And if you zoom in on your top view, you can see the map behind the grid. We're going to get rid of the grid by going back to top and right-clicking on it and go to grid options under background bitmap and then get rid of and check show grid lines and click OK I'm going to zoom out and then I will, I'm will. i going to move this background bitmap to the origin going back to the top and then right click and background bitmap and then I'm going to click on move it's going to ask for the point to move from. I'm going to pick the bottom left corner and then I'm going to move it to the origin. And it'll move it there. Next, I want to scale this to the correct size. And I know that my map is supposed to be 100 feet long, so I'm going to draw a 100 foot line starting from the origin I'm going to type in 100 feet and to scale the image I'm going to go back to top go back to background bitmap and then click on scale and it's going to ask for the origin point or the starting point and then the end point and then you can move it or scale it to the to the line since you know that's 100 feet and then I'm going to delete my reference line so here now you have a scaled scaled correctly topographic map if you know the, the actual scale of it the next thing to do to create the map is to create contours and by using the curve tool or command you can create the contours and you want to you want the curve to to encompass the map like so and you do this for every every curve and you want to join this as one curve so I have I have all my curves already drawn and to see it you can go back to the top go back to background bitmap and hide your image so here's all my curves We're then going to go and extrude each curve by one foot by typing extrude curve and then type in one. And you do this for every curve. And each one that you go to, it's a foot higher. So now it's two feet high. And you continue to do this. I'm going to delete this since I already. I've already made mine for this tutorial. So you should end up having a topographic map that looks like this. But since this is too many too many geom too much geometry, um you're gonna need to union them. So click on the bottom and then the next layer. And I recommend you doing it in increments of four or even two since it's a it's a big solid 
then we're going to union and when you union the objects together you still get these surface lines so to get rid of those surface lines go to solid go to solid edit tools and go to faces then click on merge all faces so then now it's cleaned up and it's just one big solid object so once you do all that you should be able to get a topographic map that's that's super clean and it's stepped